today's video is going to be a little bit different because I am going to talk about hair care products today. Yay! I rarely ever talk about hair care products that I use simply because I'm very low maintenance when it comes to my hair. I rarely style my hair and my hair looks like crap 99% of the time that I film as you guys probably already know. So I also have very thin hair and not a lot of hair to work with. So these are pretty much my tried and true hair care products. They are the ones that I continue to use. And I do have a lot of products here. Here's my little hair care basket. So I figured I would give you guys just like a quick rundown of all the hair care products that I use. So you can get a feel of what I like, what I use, what works for me. And uh, hopefully this is interesting to you guys or helpful. Um, yeah, so I actually was inspired by Kristen Game because she did, I believe, a Topic Tuesday on all of her hair care products. So I figured I would give it a go and hopefully you guys enjoy. So let's begin. Okay, so I don't want this video to be super long. So this is going to be a quick rundown of all my hair care products. So if you see something that interests you, just let me know and I could definitely do a more in-depth review of that product. So, first things first is my shampoo. This is from Lush. It's the big sea salt shampoo, and I've talked about this before. It basically has grains of sea salt in it. It smells fabulous. What I love about this product is that it's very clarifying. It adds shine to your hair. It adds volume to your hair. Since it is very clarifying, I only use this product three times a week, but it's basically all I use for a shampoo. And I love it. I'm actually working on a DIY right now because this is kind of expensive. And I have bought tons and tons of this. So, uh, yeah, I would rather save my money and perfect a formula that I can make myself and not have to purchase that. But I do love that and it's definitely holy grail. So, next thing is from Wem. And this is the Pomegranate Cleansing Conditioner. And this is a really huge tub of conditioner. But... Um, I don't condition my hair a lot. I only condition my hair about twice a week. If I condition my hair too much, then it just weighs down my hair. And it can also cause dandruff, which is not good. So um, I do like this product. It also works as a leave-in conditioner as well. It's really nice, and it's going to last me a long time. As for actual leave-in conditioners, this is the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In Plus Keratin Leave-In Conditioner. I love this product. As you can see, I've used almost all of it. And first of all, it smells amazing. At, at least for me, it smells amazing. I know it's kind of like a hit or miss for some people, but I like the smell. This is also really good as a detangler, so I use this on damp hair. I also use this on my daughter as well. Uh, since we both have very thin hair, our hair tends to get very tangled uh, when wet, so I love this product. Next, leave-in conditioner. I can use this both on my dry hair and my damp hair, but this is from Acure, and this is the leave-in conditioner Argan Oil and Argan Stem Cell Weightless Leave-in Conditioner and Detangler. And this has sort of like a lemon-lime kind of scent to it. It's very citrusy. I do like the scent of this. And I do like the product overall, but um, I do prefer my It's a 10. Okay, so for heat protector, this is from Paul Mitchell. And this is the Seal and Shine. It's the thermal protection and conditioner for your hair. And I really like this product. It has a very clean scent to it as well. Uh, kind of like a cut, cut grass kind of scent, if you know what I'm talking about. And, uh, yeah, it works really good. What I hate about leave-in conditioners is that they tend to leave a very tacky sort of like residue on the hair. But this one doesn't do that. So, I love it. This is actually pretty new to uh, my hair care routine. But it's definitely becoming a favorite. So, for hairspray... I have two. Uh, this is the Not Your Mother's She's a Tease Volumizing Hairspray. And I will say that this is super, super heavy duty. And um, yeah, if you don't really like the heavy duty kind of hairsprays, then you probably wouldn't like this. It definitely sets your hair in place. Um, it's not a bad product. I, I'm just not a big fan of hairspray in general, but it smells fantastic. It does the job, so really no complaints. Uh, it's just whether you prefer hairspray or not. 
The next one is kind of uh, different, I would say. This is from It's a 10, and it's the Miracle Blow Dry uh, Volumizer. So this is kind of like a hairspray, but it also volumizes your hair. So I guess I would consider this kind of like a root lifter in a way because you spray this on to damp hair, and it just kind of gives you that nice lift. You can use this as... Uh, just a hairspray when your hair is dry and it just kind of gives you a little bit of um, of a hold. So it's kind of like a finishing spray than anything else. And it is pretty liquidy so uh, this is more of like the typical hairspray where this is a little bit more liquidy. So it's not the best uh, to use as a finishing spray but you can use it that way. Uh, this is actually a finishing spray and it's from Paul Mitchell and this is called the soft spray and I do really like this this is actually what I prefer to a typical hairspray because it's very gentle and it still makes uh, my hair have some movement to it because I don't like my hair too crunchy it smells really really good I love Paul Mitchell hair care products okay for dry shampoos I have two here. This is the Lush No Drought Dry Shampoo. Love this. Two pieces. It smells fabulous. It smells kind of like Sprite. It has that lemon and lime kind of scent to it. it smells so, so, so good. And it does the job. The only thing that I would say about this product is the packaging. I wish the packaging was a little bit different. However, it does the job, so no complaints. The next thing is also from a cure, and this is another dry shampoo. This is the Argon Stem Cell and COQ10 uh, dry shampoo. And this doesn't have any scent to it. Um, I don't really like the way that it makes my hair feel. It makes my hair feel very gritty and actually dirty. So um, I do use this sometimes just to finish it up, but it's not my favorite, and I would not repurchase that. One more dry shampoo, actually. This is from... Psst. and this is the Freeman's Dry Shampoo and it's different than the other two because this is a powder, this is a spray and um, I like it because it's very easy to use it's not going to leave a big powdery mess on your hair and you don't really have to fuss with it and mix it into your hair so your hair isn't white so I do like this product a lot uh, let's see, sea salt sprays I have two sea salt sprays here this is from Lush, and this is the Sea Spray Hair Mist. I love this product. It smells fabulous. It gives me this nice sort of like perfume on the hair. Um, it works really good at just kind of like judging up your hair and just tossing your hair up. Fabulous. Love it a lot. The next one is from Julep, and this is the Sea Salt Texture Spray. This smells so good. This is one of the best smelling hair care products that I've ever tried in my life. Um, and I love this. I love this just the same as the Lush Sea Salt Spray. However, I probably wouldn't repurchase this just because I would have to buy it online. And it's just more of a hassle than anything else. And I can just purchase this at my local Lush store. So, uh, but I do love that uh, product. The next product is from Wen. This is a styling cream. This adds shine to your hair. It gives you a little bit of hold. It's kind of like a gel. I'm not big into gels personally, but this is basically what it is. It gives you a light hold. It's kind of like a conditioning product as well. It's not my favorite. Okay, these are what I would call like my defrizzers. So the first one is from Josie Marin. And this is the Argan Oil Hair Serum. I do like this product a lot. It smells like lavender. I don't use this anywhere near the scalp area, just on the ends, because then your hair will look very greasy. But I do like it. It has a uh, thicker kind of consistency to it, not like an oil. This one right here is more of an oil. And this is the Julep Elixir Organic Moroccan Argan Oil. It smells exactly like argan oil. It doesn't really have a scent to it. And it is a very saturated product since it is an oil. So uh, I do have to be careful when I use this product or else it will weigh down my hair. So again, I just use this on my ends. But it works great at defrizzing your hair. 
Okay, the next part. This is a volumizing spray. So this is basically a root lifter, and this is from Paul Mitchell. I have a lot of, like, root lifters and volumizers, um, you know, because I do have very thin hair. Although, at the end of the day, my hair does uh, end up looking flat. But if I didn't have a volumizing product, then my hair would definitely be even more flatter. Uh, but yeah, I do like this product a lot. Again, you use this on damp hair and you just kind of spray it on your hair and then kind of blow it out in style. Okay, so the last two products are actually hair treatments. And these two products I really haven't heard anybody talk about, but they're fabulous. And the first one is from Nioxin, and this is called the Nioxin Dimax Thickening Extra Fusion Treatment. It does have a pretty huge name, but that's what it looks like. And as you can see, it does have like a little spray nozzle. This is sort of like a liquidy gel like kind of consistency. And basically, you just apply this onto wet hair. You can use this on dry hair, but I prefer to use this on wet hair. And you just spray it. You can spray it all over your hair. And it just basically thickens every strand of your hair. I don't know how it does it, but it does it. And I love this product because. Right now, I'm dealing with thinning hair, thinning hair more than usual. Uh, my hair is actually falling off, and it's kind of weird because um, with my first pregnancy with my daughter, my hair started falling off after I gave birth to her, but this time it's happening a little bit early, and so um, I use this to kind of compensate for um, my hair loss, but it is a fabulous product. It also has like a very peppermint tingly kind of sensation to your uh, scalp which I do like because it's kind of refreshing uh, so yeah definitely a product that I would definitely repurchase and the next one this is from Julian Farrell and this is the A2B technology anti-aging balance uh, anti-aging for your hair for normal or fine hair hydrates and restores and basically that's what it does. It basically restores your hair back to normal. So if you are someone who tends to color your hair a lot or use a lot of heat styling products on your hair, this is definitely a product for you. If you are also someone who is dealing with hair loss, then this is a good product for you as well. Um, but basically you just, it has this little nozzle here and you would basically just squeeze it onto your scalp the same way you would if you were coloring your hair and you just want to saturate your whole hair in this product and leave it in for about 10 minutes and then you wash it out and you will notice the difference. Your hair just feels brand new. It feels amazing. So I definitely recommend this product. It's amazing and uh, I just don't hear a lot of people talking about it and it's, it's definitely a gem in my hair care routine. So that is it. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Again, if you have any questions on any of these products that I talked about, just let me know and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.